we've talked most of today, except for a little bit of computer science, most of today about a productive life. Um, how does uh, love, friendship, and family fit into that? Is there, um, do you find that there's a tension? Is it possible for relationships to energize the whole process to benefit? Or is it ultimately a trade-off, but because life is short and uh, ultimately we seek happiness, not productivity, that we have to accept that tension. Yeah. I mean, I think relationships is the, that's the found, that's the whole deal. I, like I thought about this the other day, I don't know what the context was. I was thinking about if I was going to give like an advice speech, like a commencement yeah. address or like giving advice to, to young people. And uh, like the big question I have for young people is if they haven't already, bad things are going to happen that you don't control. Mm -hmm. So what's the plan, right? Like, let's start, let's start figuring that out now because it's not all good. You know, some people get off better than others, but eventually stuff happens, right? You get sick, something falls apart, the, the economy craters, the someone you know, like, you know, dies, like all sorts of bad stuff is going to happen, right? So how, how are we going to do this? Like, how do, how do we like live life and life is hard and in ways that is unfair and unpredictable. Um, then relationships is the, that's the buffer for all of that because we're wired for it. Right. I went down this, this rabbit hole with digital minimalism. I went down this huge rabbit hole about the human brain and sociality. Mm -hmm. It's all we're wired to do. It's like all of our brain is for this. Like everything, all of our mechanisms, everything is made to service social connections because it's what kept you alive. You know, I mean, you had the, your tribal connections is, is how you didn't, uh, starve during a famine, people would share food, et cetera. Um, and so you can't neglect that. And it's like everything. And and people feel it, right? Like there's no, our social networks are hooked up to the pain center. That's why it feels so terrible when you miss someone or like someone dies or something, right? That's like how seriously we take it. There's a, a, a pretty accepted theory that the default mode network, like a lot of what the default mode network is doing. So the sort of the default state our brain goes into when we're not doing something in particular is practicing sociality, mm. it practicing interactions, think because it's it's so you know crucial to what we do. It's like at the core of human thriving. So I've more recently, the way I think about it is like relationships first. Mm. Like, okay, given that foundation of putting like, and I don't think we put nearly enough time into it. I worry that social media is reducing relationships, strong relationships, strong relationships where you're sacrificing non-trivial time and attention and resources, whatever, on behalf of other people. And that's the net that is going to allow you to get through anything. Then, all right, now what do we want to do with, uh, the surplus that remains. Maybe I want to build some, build some fire, build some tools. So put relationships first. I like the worst case analysis from the computer science perspective. Put relationships first. Yeah, because everything else is just uh, assuming average case. <laughs> assuming things kind of yeah. keep going as they were going. And you're neglecting the fundamental human drive. Like we we have this, we talk about the boredom instinct. We want to build things. We want to have impact. We want to do productivity. That's not nearly as clear cut of a drive of we need people. 